Good morning, good evening, good night, whenever you guys are watching this channel, first subscribe. I just got back home. I went to fill my truck up with gas, that Tundra back there. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Two days ago, that same gas station, I always use it. Gas was $2.99. You guys say, hey, what you complaining about that? $2.99? Yeah, $2.99. We're in Texas. Uh, that's the cheapest you're going to find gas anywhere in the United States. It's probably Texas. I think gas right now in California is probably right at $6 a gallon. But anyway, two days ago, that gas was $2.99. Today, I paid $3.49. So it went up like 50 cents a gallon in two days. So it cost me right at $120 to fill up that Tundra right there. And it usually costs about $90. And I'm predicting that this price of gas is probably gonna keep going up. So in probably about a month and a half to two months, that same gas station probably gonna be $5 a gallon. And I know it's due to this Russia-Ukraine conflict that's going on. You know, as soon as Biden got into office, the first thing he did was sign an executive order revoking the Keystone Pipeline, which was about an 8% finish. It probably would be finished today or it would be finished probably in another couple of months. But as soon as he revoked that pipeline, oh, Putin started, he started smiling. Hey, we didn't depend on no other country for oil. We was all independent. Now we depend on Russia for oil. Today we still buying gas and oil from Russia, even with this conflict that is going on, the things that Putin is doing. You know, he done put a lot of sanctions on Putin, uh, on Russia, these banks and stuff. But you notice that one sanction he didn't put, he didn't say, hey, we're gonna stop getting gas and oil from Russia. <laughs> if he do that, you might as well get ready for that gas price to go up overnight, a dollar, two dollars a gallon extra on top of what it is. You know, um, it's. I think it's gonna keep going up. What you guys think, put in the comments below and what you think about this Russia and Ukraine conflict. How long you think it's going to last? You think it's going to go on for a while? So I'm going to have to pull out my welding shirt and my welding hood. We need to get some pipelines built. All my welders out there, uh, get ready because I think they're going to reinstate this Keystone pipeline and other pipelines that was cut off. I think they're going to reinstate all of this. They see we can't go to electric vehicles overnight. Just imagine if they say today, hey, we're going all electric. So all the vehicles are going to be electric. You know, 95% of people wouldn't even be able to go to work today because who all got electric vehicles? Where are you going to get them from? So this is a gradual change. You can't force all this stuff on people to go electric. Um, we have to go into this slowly. You know, we got all these gas and all vehicles. Now we're depending on Russia to keep the price of gas and oil down. I know he tapped into the reserves, but how long that reserve is going to last? That's called a reserve. <laughs> that means it's going to last for a little bit to get you out of situations. So once that reserve is empty, what, what are we going to do? Go beg in Russia, even though they're creating these war crimes and we still beg in Russia for gas and oil? Crazy. Come on, guys. I know it's a political game. It don't affect those guys too much. They're millionaires. Only thing they have to do is just draw interest off of their stock markets and all that. But people like me and you, we got to go to work every day and try to make a living. In order to get to work, you got to drive to work. And when you're paying $5 a gallon, that's a problem. So I think I'm going to park my truck up for a little while and get in my son Infinity. It don't take much. That thing could get 30, 35 miles a gallon. These Tundras, you'd be lucky to get 11 miles a gallon on those. So anyway... I'm not complaining too much. I'm just, I just want to hear what you guys think about all of this conflict that's going on. When you think it's going to be over, what you think the price of gas is going to be in the next month, month and a half, maybe two months. And I know we complaining about gas and all there in Europe, uh, it's going to get bad because Germany, they depend on Russia for all of their gas and oil mostly. And if they cut Germany off, they're going to be in bad shape, bad shape. And we can't send them anything because we don't have any pipelines. So maybe I think Biden's going to reinstate that pipeline just like he reinstated the remain in Mexico. He's going to reinstate a lot of things that Trump had. I know he didn't like it because it was a political game and he revoked a lot of that stuff. 
So I think he's gonna have to reinstate this Keystone pipeline. So welders and inspectors, get ready and go to work. And thanks for watching this video. Like I said, leave a comment below and tell me what you think the gas, the price of gas gonna be in two months. I know California's suffering. I think they're, they're right at $7 a gallon. So I'm not going to California. I'm staying here in Texas. All right, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.